Well, folks, it's interesting the effect that haze has on the sky, the sunlight that comes through. I was noticing it on the way into work today, and it is a beautiful day. No question about that. Another quiet one here as we roll through this Tuesday, but you really can notice how we just don't have that clear sky, and really the sunlight is very, very filtered as a result. And this is the case across the entire area. A little bit more of a blue sky in Hagerstown there, but overall that haze continues to be locked in place. Now it's not affecting our temperatures a lot, but we are staying a little bit cooler today. So far, upper 60s, low 70s. That's where those current temperatures sit across the entire area, but that's more of an effect from the wind turning more out of the east throughout the afternoon today. And there it is as compared to yesterday. We're running just a few degrees cooler. Nothing drastic, nothing too noticeable, but it definitely is going to stay just slightly cooler. Now we do have a little more cloud cover mixed in with that haze as compared to yesterday. A lot of high thin clouds stretching across Culpeper, Fredericksburg, up I-95 in Northern Virginia, Southern Maryland, and much of D.C. Seeing that cloud cover, not as much the case as you go north and west. You're seeing more of that clear sky, if you will, minus the haze anyway. It's more clear. So there you go. We'll see that mix out there. So filtered sunshine is going to be the play the rest of the afternoon. As we roll ahead into Wednesday, not much is going to change, but Wednesday night we do see a cold front drop down out of the north. At this point, it looks like it's going to weaken a lot before arriving here, so not expecting really any rainfall from that. Aside from a few spotty showers, things will stay dry otherwise until this weekend. That is when a coastal storm system is going to just meander about nearby and there's still a lot of question marks with that storm system and whether or not it will bring a lot of rainfall or if it weakens before it even gets here. But overall, we're going to be keeping an eye on things. It'll be a little more interesting over the holiday weekend, and that is important because I'm sure a lot of plans have already been made for the upcoming holiday weekend. Here in the short term, though, nothing much really changing. We'll continue to see that cloud cover again. Plenty of that smoke and haze in the sky the rest of your Tuesday afternoon through your Tuesday night. It's going to be so calm tonight. We could even see a little bit of patchy fog once again early tomorrow morning. And really, as we go throughout your Wednesday, that is going to stay the status quo here. But notice as we go on into your Wednesday night, there is that cold front starting to drop down out of the north. And again, there is the possibility we run into a few spotty showers out there, especially near the Pennsylvania Maryland line. But this cold front is going to be weakening quite a bit. It's going to be running into a lot of dry air, all that dry air that's been sitting over us for several days. That is going to wear away at this cold front. And again, the chance for rainfall is looking very minimal as we go Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And really, as we go toward the holiday weekend, we're seeing more of the same. We have chances for isolated to spotty showers Saturday through Memorial Day. But no one day is looking like a washout at this point. Good news for those of you planning to be out and about through the holiday weekend.